Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time we made our way to the village of Arborea, where Veronica and Serena grew up, and it worked out pretty good because everyone likes us because we're the Luminary, and they don't think we're evil. Heliodor, little rat bastards. But uh, yeah, worked out pretty good for us. And today we're going to go ahead and go to uh, continue on through the Arborean Highlands to get to the first forest to uh, turn in the orbs. And one second, real fast. There we go. I had not opened my beverages yet. Uh, real fast, just to get out of the way, let's see if we can't rework our new mail piece for Mr. Hero here. Uh, let's see, because why not? It's here. We might as well. It should not be that hard to rework since it's only a two star. And it'll be better defenses and fire and ice damage, which would be nice. So, yeah, good stuff. Let's go for another Sizzly Puff. And. Okay, that works. Okay, I did not mean to bash right there, but uh, that worked out real good. So, cool. Alright, uh, you bash right there. Uh, let's grab a double right there. And. Alright, we got a couple lightnings that we can do here. Okay, that works. See, that will turn into. Brilliantly, okay. That works out fantastic. Nice. Much better than our last disastrous attempt at forging, where I failed miserably on uh, the zombie mail, which. Frankly, I should probably redo right now just to have it, but whatever. Eh, I'll worry about it later. Alright, and that's mainly the main thing. Um, on Mr. Soul... Let's go hang out in... Now, you know what? I was going to say let's hang out in an outfit. You know, we haven't seen our basic bitch outfit for quite some time. So, we might as well be Mr. Purple today. So, let's go ahead and head through here. Through the, uh, through the cathedral with all sorts of cool paintings and statues and whatnot. And through this weird rocky path that actually we don't need to go there yet. We need to go talk to people about side quests because I totally forgot about those. Because I remember telling you last time there was two people that had side quests for us. This guy, particularly, and the other kid that was sick. You're not feeling under the weather? Okay, we already talked to you the first part. One must sacrifice one's heart and soul upon the altar of wellness. I've devoted my entire life to the pursuit of true salubrity, and after years of painstaking research, I finally found the secret. I call it Super Soup. Or at least I will when it's completed at last. Young man, will you lend me your aid in concocting this miraculous broth? Will we get a butterfly baton for uh, Serena? I know that you would say yes. Now, what I need you to do is to head deep into the first forest, bringing back a single leaf of the most vital ingredient of all, red kale. The first forest is a sacred place into which none may set foot without the high priest's permission. But you are the luminary. How could he possibly refuse you? Remember, my boy, a single leaf of red kale is all that I require. May the spirits of salubriousness go with you, my fellow fitness fanatic. Fit as a fiddle. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I don't think there's any other quests that popped up. I think I think these are the last two. Um, yeah, that one. I think there might be a... I'm not sure, but I think there might be a... Um, a taco hanging around here somewhere. I could be mistaken, but I don't... The problem is I don't know where it would be located. I didn't, I didn't see it in our previous little jaunt around the town. And usually they're not terribly hidden. Like, if they're here, they're going to be reasonably easy to find. I mean, we can do a quick dash around. We already got that. That had seeds. Yeah, we can do like a... Oh, is this guy right here? Yeah, okay. I think I, I think I might have saw this guy as just a regular taco since he's blue. And usually the, um, the ticking tin fellows are less blue. Hello there, Mr. Luminar. I took my ticking time, but I found a password for you. Alright. We'll go... We'll go do with that, uh, eventually. Alright, now let's go talk to the kid that was sick. I, th I think it was a little girl, but I wasn't entirely sure what the haircuts in this game. But I think it was a uh, little girl that was sick.
Yeah, she's like a micro Android 18. I'm rather poorly. Okay. Uh, my grandfather once told me about a medical flower called a wish terry. He said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. But seeds are very difficult to get hold of. The only way to obtain them is to track down a very rare monster called a white bulb and defeat it in battle. You and your friends look very strong. Can you defeat one for me and bring me back some wish terry seeds? Might be my only hope. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's the healer accessory that recovers 10 health per turn. So that's neat. But compared to the restorative that we can grab... Uh, from monsters, actually, in the first forest. It's not terribly fantastic. Oh, thank you. If I can just get my hands on some of those seeds, I'll be able to wish for them to make me well again when the flowers finally bloom. The white bulbs that carry them live in the first forest, but they only appear very rarely. You should try fighting their friends the sprite bulbs. Fight a sprite, and a white might bite. That's what my grandfather always told me. Won't be easy to find, but I'm counting on you. After all, you're my only hope. Please, bring me back the seeds that I need to make me better. <laughs> okay, uh, try not to die there, kid. I don't know if you have, like, video game cancer or something, but you have something, and frankly, uh, you're probably not going to survive terribly much longer if we don't get those seeds for you, so, yeah. You might want to dash around for that. Yeah, we still got a little bit more of the area that we were just in, the Arborean Highlands, before we actually get to uh, the first forest. It's not a long... Uh, path through the Arborean Highlands, but it is technically still the previous area that we were in before we came to the Arborean City here, or village. And then we'll get to the first forest after a little longer in the Highlands again. Yeah, back to the Arborean Highlands, where there's a couple new monsters, but there's also the same monsters that were here earlier. Yeah, there's a Two new monsters that look almost exactly the same, and one monster that uh, does not look exactly the same at all. So, yeah. Let's see. Two more right there. And I know there's a, a chest here with an, with an item in it, which is pretty nice. Yeah, these guys right here. These guys look really weird. And... I don't know what the frick these guys are supposed to be, but uh, they're goobances and blood bonnets. Yeah, they're uh, quite strange. Let's go ahead and get rid of the blood bonnets. This is by itself. Oh yeah, that helped. Yeah, these guys aren't terribly dangerous, but they'll call for backup every once in a while. But I don't, re I don't recall them being terribly. Terribly bastardly. Okay, apparently they're resistant to lightning, so that's cool to know. How about light? Okay, yeah, they don't mind the uh, the light spell there. Cool. And I think swoosh should do pretty good here on the goobonses. Or it could just do not very much damage at all. But they might just be resistant to physical or magical attacks in general. And we're poisoned. By the way, now that we're out here in the Arborean Highlands, you can you can go ahead and put all your stuff back in your inventory. For your items and whatnot. Uh, let's do a mid-heal on Mr. Solder. Yeah, not terribly dangerous. A little irritating, but not too bad for the most part. Ooh, Stabby Sapphire. That was his uh, rare drop. Neat. I think one of the other... Uh, one of the other... The other variety of this guy, the one that didn't drop it, has a chance to drop a, uh, a ruby, I think? Yeah, you have the chance to drop the ruby, and you drop the Savvy Sapphire. Okay, cool. They'd go to hell and back for their buddies the Blood Bonus, but they can't shake the feeling they often get the cold shoulder in return. Uh, they spend a lot of time with their Goobon's brethren. It's strictly business, and they're straight out of the door as soon as the day is done. Aw. They have, like, extra eyes. Is that what those are, or are those just, like, little growths. I have no idea. They're either growths, or they are just uh, eyes, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of all this extra s Actually, you know what? Uh, real fast. Uh, equip. Yeah, give you that back. And then the rest... Veronica... Yeah, you're good on all your stuff, so let's go ahead and put all your stuff back in the bag. Serena, we actually need to equip your Glumbrella. There we go. Eric, uh, yeah, let's equip your 
that and also equip your that. Put that in your right hand. There we go. Okay, apparently the pet pops do not count as uh, non-essential items. Okay. There we go. There we go. Alright, Rab, you don't have anything to worry about. Savando. Uh, let's equip your Falcon Blade. There we go. And then the rest. There we go. Alright, let's not get in a fight with that guy. Uh, you can see the other new monster around here. He's uh, pretty cool looking. He's a big old dragon. Let's try to attack him. I was trying to attack, not talk to you, Jade, but... I mean, I like you and all, but, uh, you know, I was trying to talk to the cool dragon right here. Ooh, fiery. Uh, let's go ahead and sap you there, my good sir. I don't know if breath attacks count as a physical or magical type of deal. I have no idea, actually. But there, that worked. Uh, let's see, Unbridled Blade should do plenty of damage to my good sir. I don't think these guys have much in the way of stealing that I remember. Yeah, I don't remember, like, spending any time stealing off these guys, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, okay, trust you. It is nice they give you the, uh, drops of the enemies before you actually have to get the drops. Like, uh, some games would be like, oh no, you don't actually get to know what the drop is until it's actually dropped. This one's like, hey, you defeated the enemy, here's what they drop. And I love it. Makes my life much easier. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you guys drop Dragon Horn and Dragon Scale. Okay, so Dragon Scales, you know, are pretty nice, but they're not necessary. We already have one of those for Mr. Soul. There's a grenade if you want to fight him, but I'm going to ignore him because I don't care. Uh, Jade, feel free to leave the grenade alone. Thanks. I am ignoring you guys, because I don't care about you. Actually, how much experience do you guys give? Not that much, but... Uh, 350, 320, Dragon gives 800. This guy gives a fair chunk for being pretty easy. Eh, yeah, nothing, nothing I really care about fighting, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's see, we are going the wrong way. That's why we're back at the entrance already. Well, let's see, I don't remember this place being that short. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to attack the dragon, but because he's flying down from the sky, I kind of have to talk to my... My best friend Jay first. It would be nice if I had a turn to get my my breath thing up before he got his first turn of bad breath. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Here, I'm gonna sap you, and you're gonna take it. There you go. And here, uh, dazzle you. That way, if you attack me makes my life easier, but you're going to miss anyways, so... Oh, well. Here, multi-thrust should do more damage now. Yeah, it worked. Try not to miss my good sir. Whoopee! Veronica wins again! Veronica, all you did was reduce his defense so I could actually attack him, which is nice, but it's not necessary. Uh, sure, let's attack this guy. He's weak. He gives plenty of experience. He has a, a goobants hanging out with him. Actually, that might not that might be doing less damage to him because he is potentially resistant to uh, lightning. So if we give her the platinum lance, that might work out better for fighting it against that guy. Here, uh, let's sap you.
and let's dazzle you with our charm and our wit and our schoolgirl outfits. Stompy Stompy, you missed. Uh, let's go with a nice frizzle. That worked out pretty well. So the lightning lance, let's do the uh, platinum lance here. And that way if we fight any more uh, bonnets, we'll see if it actually does more damage that way. Well, that was easy. Ooh, Eric got a level. Nice. Toad oil. Okay. And here is a campsite, which I think the game... I was, I was, I was going to say, I think the game wants us to take a rest there, but... No, I think that's another campsite coming up. Yeah, we're good. We will survive. Let's see if we go around... Not that way. This way right here. There should be something nice like this. Yeah, the other side of the broken bridge. Platinum, platinum, silver, silver. Okay, I was hoping for another chunk of platinum, but we'll survive. I think that's most of the sparkly spots, besides that one right there that we're going to be heading into. I'm going to ignore you. I don't really care about you. So, have a good day. Yo. By the way, we should be we should be starting to get the uh, Ava branches that we need for some of our some of our recipes here coming up. And this right here in the chest is something for Eric. The magic circle. It looks like a shield, but it's really a boomerang, because... why not? Oh, uh... Yeah, there we go. A throwing ring encrusted with enchanted gemstones that regenerates ma regenerates magical power, increases the wielder's MP. So, a little extra MP, which is not too shabby. Pretty solid attack for a boomerang. Yeah, the first time I saw this, I thought it was a shield, because it looks like a freaking shield, but, uh... Oh, well. 51 attack is not too shabby compared to, what, the Winter's Blade, 45, and 37. Yeah, so it's definitely decent attack-wise if you're using the boomerangs. Frankly, I'm not terribly worried about it, but it is there. Alright, and we get a... I'm going to go ahead and fight one of you guys and see how much... See how much different damage we do with our... Uh... Platinum Lance instead of our Lightning Lance. Alright. Uh, let's go with a multi-thrust on the Goo Monsters here. Oh yeah, that's doing like double the damage. Yeah, so they're definitely resistant to the Lightning stuff. Fair enough. Uh, Kasapi Wall. Honestly, most enemies aren't resistant to the Lightning, so... Kind of surprising these guys would be. Uh, let's go with some more heal on Veronica since she is dying. Thank you. And hello chapter on the Gubances. There you go. That worked out pretty nice. Ow! You guys have it out for Veronica, don't you? And our two mages are feeling the pain there. I wonder why, I wonder why we run into groups of a bunch of Goobances and only one Blood Bonnet. Not sure what that's all about, but we'll survive, I guess. Uh, how do you guys like a crack or crackle? I'm sorry. No, you guys just really don't care about magical damage, do you? Uh, let's see. Let's try to dazzle you guys. A couple of you, a couple of you guys got blinded, but not a lot. Of them, that's for sure. Yeah, these guys are mildly irritating, but they're not like super dangerous. There you go. Get rid of you. Don't have to worry about you till tomorrow. We win again. I guess you get a fair chunk. Ooh, that's another rare drop from them, huh? I'll take another rare drop because why not? I guess you do get a fair chunk of experience from them because they show up in large groups. But 
frankly, they're not really that great, so, I don't know. Alright, here we are in the first forest where the two items that we need for our quests are wait, and more importantly, the altar, Yggdrasil's altar, is way the frick up there. So, yeah, it's actually a pretty sizable area. And it looks nice, too, though. I like it. It's a nice, beautiful forest with waterfalls and other forest below it, and there's floating tree and the rocks and stuff. And the monsters that try to attack us as soon as we cross the bridge. Even though there's these cute little bastards that we haven't seen since, like, the beginning of the game, I think. No, I guess we saw them in the desert. Yeah, we haven't seen the pine needlers for quite some time. Uh, yeah, multi-thrust, you idiots. I feel like these guys might be resistant to lightning, but they're probably not. Nope, they are not. Uh, how do you guys like burning your fur off? Your cotton off? There you go. Let's see, what do you guys got to drop? You guys got... Yggdrasil Leafs is a rare drop. That's not too shabby at all. That's not too shabby in the slightest. And I'm pretty sure there's a chest or a sparkly spot over here, so let's check. Yeah, I think it's up here. And here we go. A new variation of the Coralossus. A Mastodon. It looks really cool with this design. I like it. I think it looks awesome. Here, multi-thrust into Oblivion. That worked out pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, this is Unbridled Blade. Oh, we are out of MP. I was not even paying attention to that. Get crit. We are sadly out of MP. For some reason. Yep. <sighs> and there you go. If it wasn't for that crit, he probably wouldn't well, have posed any trouble whatsoever. Seed of defense. They don't appear. They don't appear in large groups, so it's not as good as some of the other areas that you could potentially get uh, city defenses from. What was there, uh, the common? Was what? Green eye. Okay. Yeah, we can buy those. And up here, there we go. That's what I was thinking of. The treasure chest. A little bit of both. More Saint's Ashes. Okay, I'll take it. I'm tempted to go back and heal, but there's a campsite like right there, so that's not too bad. Actually, you know what? We have a billion of these um, single files wherever they're at. Yeah, we have a bunch of those. Yeah, give some more to... There we go. That should be good for a little while there. But ignore the needlers. Because we don't really care about them too much. And yeah, there's the uh, the Jowler dude that we... I forget where we first saw them, but... Yeah, they, they were around somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember where we first saw these guys. I don't remember at all. I'd actually have to like look in the bestiary, but... Oh well. The point is, he's not going to put up too much of a fight. Uh, 
Okay, you guys are prepped up to get my uh, MP and stuff back. That's nice. I don't think it's necessary at this point since I already used all those uh, single files, but it could be nice. Ooh, Rab, you get a level. Nice. Uh, nothing I care about for you at the moment since everything is expensive, but we could. You're very glowy. You have a whole lot of bloom there, Mr. Flower. A whole lot of bloom. Let's see. Anything up here that I remember? No. It's just you guys. We're going to ignore you guys. Just go straight to the campfire. Actually, no. Never mind. The campfire is on another level. Yeah, this is like a multi tiered forest, kind of. Hello, Fruity Sucky Bats. Literally, that's their name. Fruity Sucky Bats. Why? I don't know. It just is. Uh, I don't think Veronica's into the ladies. Boring. <laughs> Boring. I, uh, if I was my natural age, I'd give a better one. Uh, Alright, you little bat bastards. Uh, here, helicopter should do acceptable for damage here. Acceptable enough. Uh, you still got plenty of health left, huh? So what? Lots of status gifts from you guys, but you're not terribly dangerous. I mean, I suppose if you uh, charmed a soul or something, and actually charmed him, it would work out pretty well for you, but sadly, it's not seeming to happen for you. Excellent. Excellent. We kicked your ass. Told you I was tough. There we go, Veronica gets her level. And kisses. Nice. Now we don't need anything for you level wise. That's awesome. Uh pretty sucky bat. Spellbound bow and infernals. Uh spellbound bows are good for some recipes, obviously. Well, let's see if Jade goes for the Puff Puff. She's been living with Rab for quite some time. I don't think she's I don't think she cares about the Puff Puff at this point. She's been seeing it since she was like ten years old. <laughs> she just sighs and looks away. That's a great description. Damn it, Rab, you have uh, affected the the wildlife. How dare you? Uh, Cuss is. Let's go. Incinerates a group of enemies with the blazing flames of the underworld compared to a blazing wall of fire. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, that works. Veronica wins again. Plenty of damage. Savando. How do I, how to outdo the undead? Zombie slayers. Uh, that's a that's a sword, a two-handed sword, I think. Let's see. This is the way we came in. This will take us up to the next level, I think. Yeah, I think it says a dead end right here. The chest. Ethereal stone. Nito. More magic water. That's awesome. I love it. Alright, nothing over there that we care about. A couple of jowlers that we don't care about. That's the way across and forward, which is great, but I'm gonna ignore that for making sure nothing else is over here. Yeah, you can't take the safe path over this way because, well, we're not uh, Laura Croft or Nathan Drake or somebody that can climb. I mean, technically we can climb, but. This is not properly marked. We're kind of SOL. Oh well. We will survive. That's where we already came out of. I don't think you can jump down there. Okay, get out of my fucking eye. I, I got like a tiny little fucking pebble in my eye or some bullshit. I hate, I hate when that shit happens. You're just having your day and all of a sudden... Hey, uh, it's me, a random speck of, a random speck of dirt that just got in your eye. Hey, cool. Uh, you know what? Let's show off Gigaburst. We've 
Never had all four of our people pepped up since we got Giga, whatever it was. And uh, yeah, it requires Soul and the other three party members that he's with to be pepped up. And you get yourself a cool, I guess, single target attack. I thought I was going to hit more than one person, but okay. You're telling me that only hits one person? Oh, wonderful. Woo! 950 damage. Oh, that is ridiculous. That was freaking beautiful. That was awesome levels of screw you. Uh, let's give Jade some oofle there. Jeez, that did a ton of damage to one person. Uh, there's other varieties of that when you get the other variations of Giga spells for the hero. But I think that's just like the base one you get for getting your first Giga, the first tier Giga. 950 damage though, that was freaking ridiculous. In a good way. That was glorious. I don't think I've ever bothered using that before, and I was not expecting that the much Monica damage. Because usually I'll just be like, hey, let's just go for a, you know, a hallelujah when I'm pepped up, or something like that. Or, um, the one that summons metal slimes or whatever. I don't ever go for, you know, that big ass damage one. If I did do it at some point, I don't remember it. But I'm gonna remember it now, because that did a shit ton of damage to that poor little sucky bat. Feeling less fruity and more fruit juice at this point. Cause she got fucking smashed. Hello, liquid metal slime. How you doing my good friend? You are my fucking bastard. For everything I've never done for you, just run away like a little bastard, huh? And I'm out of MP. That's great. Thanks, Cam. Yeah, you're, you're just treating me like a champ right now. And by a champ, I spell that C-H-U-M-P. Well, that was easy. Uh, Mr. Hero, how close are you to a level? 4,000. Yeah, you got a ways to go. Okay. I'm gonna ignore everybody else for now. And continue on through here. I think we'll take care of the next Tickington area, like, later in the game, because why not? There's no point doing it right now, because we have story stuff coming up, and we want to go this way. Hello, Mr. Jowler. How's our sparkly spots looking? Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, we're good on sparkly spots. Not at this campsite, but the next one, um, further up. That one's going to have, like, story stuff going on. But over here, we got a chest hidden in the water. You can barely see it. Enchanted stone. Nito. Let's get rested. We have new stuff to forge, right? Yeah. The zombie slayer, which is... 77 attack power. So not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, but compared to what we got right now, it's... Lacking severely. Extra mural. Um, where the heck do we get the extra mural from? I have no idea where we get the extra mural from. I, I really don't. I have no idea whatsoever. Oh well. Anyways, let's just go ahead and rest up and continue on. Ah, feels good in here. It's a nice, soothing forest with some nice lakes. And this guy that got in the way because I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. But, uh, okay. oh well. It's my own fault. Uh, yeah, multi-thrust Mr. Batbrain over here. Mrs. Batbrain, I'm sorry. Uh, I wonder if he got a, a critical hit. Or they got a critical hit on me earlier. Because it did like 70 or 80 damage, I think. Uh, let's see, as for you... We could try Kassiz, but I don't think it's going to do that much extra damage compared to anything else. So let's just go ahead and sap him into oblivion. Sorry. That works. 
Uh, we can dazzle you with our charm, naturally. We don't want you to dazzle us with your Hulk level strength there, sir. And I think cutting edge should be enough to finish him off. Let's see. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. Veronica wins again. A couple more of those, and Mr. Soul will be another level higher. Not that again, not that there's a boss in here, but well it'll just be a higher level, which would be nice. How's our sparkly spots coming? Just the one or two over there? Okay. Oh, and hello, you are new. Hello, Infanticore. You look pretty cool. That's for sure. Let's see. We need to sap the Infanticore. And Unbridled Blade should be pretty good damage against this guy. He's not going to take too many turns to take out. Thank you for missing my spellcasters. I appreciate that. Your sizzle is not very impressive, sir. Like, it's just not. Sorry. Like, you're, you're giving it your best shot, but your best shot is not that great. Just like that was not that great, either. You really like the uh, Izzle spells, don't you, there? I mean, it works. It really does. There you go. Not too shabby. He tried, though. He put up a better fight than some of the other guys in here, that's for sure. Alright, we should be reasonably close to that red kale. As I, I'm pretty sure the red kale is before we get um, to that little spiral part, at the very least. I don't remember exactly where it's at, but I know it's... Pretty sure it's, like, down here somewhere. Hey, and it's a, a stump thingy. Who's probably not going to be... a yeah, stump champ. They're probably not going to be terribly happy about the fact that we got fire abilities for him. Uh, how much will Gig Smash do to you, idiots? Yeah, about the, about the standard damage, okay. And how much will Kassizzle... Or Kassiz... Due to you guys. I'm sorry. It'll do plenty. That's how much it'll do to you. <laughs> did I do all right? You did fucking fantastic. You did gloriously, because those guys did not stand a freaking chance. And let's see, uh Ingrid from these guys again. And Skull Ring, that reduces your dark damage taken by up to fifty percent at plus three, so that's real nice. Frankly, I'm not worried about most of it, so if you guys want to steal it all, go for it. All right, what else we got here? Red Kale. I know it's around here somewhere. Or actually, I think it might be on one of the mushrooms on this tree. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's not like in the tree. Yeah, it might be on the. It might be on one of the mushrooms in the tr on on the tree. Because you got to climb the mushrooms to get up. There you go. Yeah, that's the sparkly spot, which is great. That's not what we need. Bell cap, neat. And then, yeah, the other sparkly spots up there. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, I don't remember having that much trouble finding it when I played the game originally, but uh, I don't remember where exactly it's at. Also, this version of the game went kind of heavy on the bloom. So sometimes, you know, finding the the glowy spot is not always easy. Yeah, we'll find it eventually. If not, I'll figure out where it's at and get it that way. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. I keep seeing like the extra yellow mushrooms or the extra red flowers, and I'm like, yeah, there it is, and then it's not. Uh, let's see, you are spellbound bow, which is nice. That's for something else. 
It might be over this way. Yeah, here it is. I know it wasn't terribly far, but I just wasn't sure where exactly it was. And now we gotta go find a rare monster. That'll be fun. Alright, can take that back to the health fanatic. That'll work out great for both of us, because we get an item that I don't really care about. And yeah, the rare monsters are going to be up here, and they're going to be the uh, the fright bulbs and the white bulbs. Yeah, these guys right here. I think I got really lucky on my first try, and I found one of these guys, like, immediately. But that's probably not going to happen this time, so we'll find out. I was trying to attack with my sword, sir, but whatever. Sprite bulbs. They taste, they taste uh, cool and refreshing, and they also taste deep fried. I feel like you guys are more resistant to fire than I would like you to be. And that's okay. Uh, I mean, I appreciate the fact that you healed us. That's great, but... Probably not a great strategy to heal the person you're trying to kill, at least. I'm, I'm thinking it's not, but... It works for somebody, I guess. And that somebody is me. More enemies should have healing spells to heal them and myself. There we go. 21 points. Uh, let's grab that. I meant to say yes to grab my, uh... My... Big strength right there. Oh yeah, 25 points. And I got 5 points. One more point for that. I don't know if it's... I think the rare version of these guys have... Oh no, these guys have a restorative for their rare drop. I thought it, I thought it might have been the rare version of them, but no, it's their uh, common version. That's fine. And there's the... The common version. I wonder if he's less rare than some of the other varieties, since we have to find him for a quest. It's always possible. And I'm paralyzed. Remember all those uh, panaceas that I bought and forgot to actually put in my inventory? Yeah. Alright, goodbye, Mr. Sprite Bulb. You're, you're fine. Let's uh, tingle. Okay, calm down with the war cries. It's not necessary. Alright, uh, let's go ahead with sapping you so we can actually do some damage when we get up here. Let's go ahead and do a multi heal just to help out a little bit. There you go. I like you better when you're attacking and not doing other stuff. There you go. This should go reasonably quickly. And how do you guys like the uh, old frizzle spell? I mean, the other guys didn't care for it as much, but uh, you seem to be weaker to it than your your friends, that's for sure. Uh, let's do a mid heal on soul. Wait, why did that heal? That was weird. I'm pretty sure I did a mid heal and it didn't do anything to Soul. Or did I heal somebody else? Well, I targeted Soul, but maybe I accidentally flicked the joystick and it targeted somebody else. That was really weird, huh? Uh, Serena, you're good. We could get your dual wielding skill, but I'll think I'll wait. Ooh, perfect panacea. That's like uh, the better version of the. Uh, Panaceas that we bought in in um, Nautica or whatever it's called. Yeah, most ailments restores at least ninety health compared to ninety and restores paralysis and poison. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and transfer a couple of you guys over to people just to have them because uh, I bought them for a reason. Damn it. <laughs> There we go. Uh, honestly, I think the healers don't need it, so we're good. All right, uh, we could go to the campsite right there, but that's going to be uh, story progress. So let's go ahead and turn this in. 
And we're actually going to finish a little earlier than some of our previous episodes because there's going to be several chunks of cutscenes coming up and I want to be able to uh, take care of some other stuff when we do the cutscenes. So yeah, we're going to turn these in and then we're going to be done for, for now. A little girl, I have a something for you to make you feel better and I hope you don't die because that would really suck. My grandfather told me the bigger wish that you ask of the seeds, the prettier the flowers will be when they finally bloom. I wonder if my wish terriers will be pretty. Actually, I don't have to wonder. I just have to wish and wait, and someday, soon, I'll see for myself. Thanks to you, I can dream of the future again. Here, I want you to have this. And we got the healer. Yay. You gave the wish terrier seeds to the little girl in the grove of repose, who's certain that her sickness will be cured as soon as one of them grows into a flower. Well, good luck, kid. My cough seems to be getting worse, but don't worry about me. When my wish terriers bloom, I'll be back to my old self again. Can't wait to see them. I wish they would hurry up. When they do finally appear, you'll come back to have a look too, won't you? We'll give it a try, kid. We'll give it a try. I wonder if she's got, like, pneumonia or something, and they don't have a way to treat that in this type of, uh, civilization. I don't know. It could be, but I have no idea. My boy, you have returned. Tell me, did you find the red kale? I sure did. This is it, the vital ingredient. I have merely to add it to my super soup and the recipe will be at last complete. I'll prepare it immediately. Look, 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 look. Ah. That is disgusting. I've never tasted anything quite so foul in all my life. But wait, I can feel it. It is working. Oh, -ho! I am bursting with energy. It says, if the life force of the first force, no, of the world tree herself is surging through me at my every sinew. You are a true servant of salubrity, my young friend. Take this, may it bring you happiness, but more importantly, health. And we get a butterfly baton. You hand it over the red kale to the old man in Arborea while he was glad he could make a super super last. Something told you his pursuit of perfect health wasn't going to stop here. Yeah, the worse it tastes, the better it, uh, the better it is. The super soup you aided me in perfecting has ushered me to a plane of wellness beyond my wildest dreams. But my journey is not over yet. I must put my newfound fitness to good use in the pursuit of an even more vigorous vitality. <laughs> yeah, continent old, you incontinent old geezer, you're going to... Do it eventually. Uh, let's see. Our butterfly baton, which is eh, not too shabby. 36 magical mending. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not quite as good as what we currently have. But if you don't have the um, if you don't have the uh, um, glumbrella, then it's definitely a decent upgrade from whatever you might have had previously. So there we go. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and be done for now. Next episode, we'll continue exploring the uh, first forest and continue on through the area. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.